The eye formation and all its variations are kind of rare in electric football. And the reason for that is most rule sets and leagues don't allow the stacking of players that is uh, necessary to, for the running backs in eye formation. Uh, in the EFHL, we have allowed uh, an exception to the rule to uh, facilitate uh, four different versions of the eye formation, and this is the most basic one. Very similar to a pro set formation. You've got two wide receivers, you've got a tight end, and the only difference is that instead of having split backs like this, you've got two running backs directly behind uh, the quarterback, uh, usually designated as the fullback and as a tailback. Now, obviously in electric football, because of these, the footprint of these bases, uh, when you set these up, you are going to have to put them in such a manner that they're not going to interfere with the quarterback uh, rolling out or dropping back uh, following the snap. An eye formation is typically used for uh, run plays. Uh, but, you know, with three eligible receivers, uh, it can easily uh, become a pass play as well. Uh, if I, as a defensive coach, see an opponent lining up in I formation on first or second down, I'm probably going to anticipate a run play. On third down, however, uh, I would assume it's going to be a pass play. Uh, but remember, these either of these running backs can are also eligible receivers for a pass if they go into motion following the snap. Now a variation on eye formation is the big eye, in which instead of having two wide receivers and one tight end, you have two tight ends and one wide receiver. Um, this offers a little added extra protection for the quarterback with all the uh, blockers on the line, potential blockers. You still have three eligible receivers there on the line, as long as uh, the split end drops back into flanker, and you've still got a fullback and a tailback for uh, run plays. So that's the big eye. Now, one thing I should mention about typical eye formation is that you can offset one of these uh, running backs. Um, the designation changes depending on where the tight end is. So in this case, um, this would be... Uh, a strong side running back, and if you put him over here opposite the tight end, that would make him a weak side running back. Um, you're almost back in pro set formation this way, but you know, otherwise, keep your full back and tailback designations there in the eye formation. That is a great little audible to do during the, uh, a little motion to do during the audible phase to, to make it look like you're a uh, going to set up an eye formation for a pass, but then virtually go back into pro set during the audible phase. Now let's talk about the Maryland eye formation. This is, well, strangely enough, it actually looks like the letter T. Even And uh, it's also fun to note that uh, T formation looks like the letter I. Crazy, isn't it? But um, this formation definitely requires stacking. And definitely requires some magic prior to the snap there to keep them from just uh, you know, ramming each other in the backs uh, once the uh, uh, play ensues, uh, not to mention the quarterback. So this setup should give plenty of room for the quarterback to fade out. Uh, you can angle them in, in different ways to you know serve as lead blockers into the line or to, to head toward the sideline to catch a pass or, or any number of things. You've also got two tight ends in the Maryland eye. You have two eligible downfield receivers and three eligible receivers in the backfield. Obviously, this formation hints at a run play. But if the tight ends want to abandon coverage at the line and try to get downfield before uh, one of these defenders makes a play on the quarterback or the backfield, uh, you can still uh, uh, make a, pa a pass play out of this. Now, with any eye formation, obviously the deeper back, like if you're if you're pinned back on the on the one yard line or the, even the five yard line, eye formation is going to be terribly difficult to pull off. No way to really uh, uh, cram those running backs into the backfield into the end zone back there. Now, there's one more variation of this uh, formation, and that's the power eye. It's going to have two running backs behind the quarterback with a third 
running back beside the fullback in this manner. He could be on this side, or he could be on that side. You could hand the ball off to one of these gentlemen, and they both peel off towards this end of the line, drawing the defenders. Um, or you could skirt past them and hand the ball off to the tailback, who could head over on this side. All kinds of options with the uh, power eye. It is best suited for run plays. Just keep in mind, in electric football, um, not just the EFL, but any uh, electric football rule set, uh, the run game is pretty challenging because of the footprints of these little bases. Even with base width spacing, uh, the line of scrimmage does tend to clog up. Now, there's ways to open seams in the line using dials or bases with dials on them, certainly. But remember, the defense is going to be doing the exact same thing, so... With practice and skill, uh, a run game in electric football is really sweet. But historically, electric football has been a, a pass-happy game. Uh, that's changing with new rule sets and new uh, techniques. And so maybe we'll see more of these I formations in the future. Well, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you again real soon.